Hi everyone, getting right into the lesson here. So spring one, day one. You're going to start out your day waking up from bed, and the first thing you want to do, well I do it anyhow, so just turn on the fireplace, get cozy, and grab those parsnips. Farming is obviously a big part of this game, and Mayor Lewis has a little, little gift for you just to get you started. If you check out your journal, you know what we've got ahead to do. Got to grow some parsnips and meet some people, so let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your Skype and clear out yourself a little patch and start looking for a water source. Usually start moving south from your home and you'll probably soon see it. Aha! There it is. So on your first round, it's best to stay near a water source. So let's clear out some of these rocks with our pickaxe. And we don't want to go crazy here. We don't want to clear out everything. We just need a little plot of land to get started. Switching over to our axe now, let's get rid of these little nubs of wood. We don't want too much of them hanging around. We're going to leave that tree for now. Clear out a little bit of the weeds and the grass, just to tidy up a bit. Here we go. Now let's start making room for our parsnips. We're going to till the soil with the hoe, get the soil all prepared so it's nice and blank for the seeds. And make a nice little square, anywhere from 15 to 20 squares or so. Keep an eye on your energy meter. That's why I was saying don't go clearing everything out. We need to save some of our energy for the farming. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's get these weeds out of the way. Have to be careful when you're first starting to keep weeds and rocks and stumps out of the way. You don't want them creeping in and destroying your crops. There's our water can. So every day we have to water our seeds in the beginning in order for them to grow. So here we go. Water, water, water. And notice the water levels are going down a little bit. Each time we water, that level down there in the meter keeps going down. But fear not, here is our water source. This is why we want it to kind of go close to it so we don't have to walk very far to fill up our watering can. So you always have that little, little pond. And then you can go ahead and fill up. And let's go ahead and water some of the blank spots. So as you can see in the upper right hand corner, we have 500 gold, so we're going to be able to buy some more seeds. Watering away. There we are. All right. Let's clear out a little bit more of this garbage. So what we really want to do next is get a nice exit path. Now on most farms, the exits are on the northeast and on the south side of the farm. And as you go through, you got some seeds. <laughs> Don't throw those away. So as you're progressing, you want to have a nice little path. Again, we kind of want to just find the quickest way out of the farm. So we don't want to get too fancy. We just want to make ourselves a little path that we can walk through. So try to conserve your energy. If you don't have to knock down anything to get uh, further ahead, don't. Just save your energy and keep moving. And only remove the obstacles that you need just to make it easier. And ha, there is your exit. Any seeds here? Nope, no seeds. Okay, we're going to leave this alone for now. All right, we have now exited on the south side of the farm. So let's just toot around a little bit and start clearing out some of these weeds from the forest area. What we're looking for is some free seeds. It's one of the nice things about clearing things out with a scythe. You can forage all kinds of things, like this wild horseradish. Let's give that chomp, instant snack, instant energy replenishment, plus 13 points, and free food. Oh, hello! So if you click on a character, they will talk to you. And we've just met another person. This is a little Jazz. And you can, when you hit the heart in the tab, find out a little bit more information about them, when their birthday is. You can scroll through the characters. And later on, you will be using this to keep track of who likes what gifts and who you've spoken to. So really handy to know that heart tab at the top. 
it will come in handy. So we still have a few more people to meet because they have question marks. We don't know their name. So let's poke around and see who's home. Hello? Anybody home? Nope. All right. We are moving on. We still need to see if we can get a few more free seeds. We only have three. I like free stuff. So since using the scythe doesn't require any energy at all, we can gather up some fibers, which we're going to need later. Okay, nothing much to eat here. Ooh, who's this? Hello. Oh, hi, Haley. Ooh, don't like my clothes, huh? I might be pretty? Well, excuse me. Fine then. Glad you think I'm ugly because of my clothes. Alright, now we're starting to be on the west side of town. Let's see who's in this house. Hello. Got little Vincent here. That's Jody. Hey, Jody. Nice to meet ya. Somebody, ooh, I see somebody coming. Who's this? Marnie. Here we go. So we're making progress. So as you're going through on your first day, and since you have to be going into town anyhow to pick up some seeds, if you run across any characters, be sure to, you know, stop in and have a look into their homes. Or if you cross their paths, oh, like this fella here, there's the doctor. Say hello, because you will get a little bit of a reward for saying hi to all these people, and it progresses the game along. But what we want to do is get over to the center of town. We want to check out the calendar. That's always a good place to look. Ooh, more people to meet. Abigail. Tooting around, tooting around, peeking into houses. Hey, George. Ooh, grumpy George. All right, best not to talk to him anymore. We will leave him alone. All right, we've got a few things. Let's see if there's anything else we can pick up off the ground that we can sell for, some, for a little bit of cash. Ooh, ooh, love those daffodils. Anything else around here? Maru. So we're just meeting all those people. We got to get to as many as we can in the first day. Now we're going to scoop into the carpenter shop. So at the north end of town, this is Robin's carpenter shop. And we want to sell a little bit of this stuff that we forged and uh, chopped down and hit with our pickaxe because it's quick and easy gold in the beginning. Hey, Demetrius. Ooh, scientist. Cool. Nice to meet you. Now we've already met Robin, so we don't have to waste too much time with her. If you did uh, choose to not skip the intro, you'll see Robin in all of the uh, opening credits. So when you're initially setting up the game, look for the little check mark to skip the intro or not. First one or two times, go ahead and watch the intro. It's kind of fun to get the backstory for this. All right, who's in the store? Ooh, more people. Woohoo! Let's poke around. Anybody? So here's another thing. In order to get into some parts of homes, mostly bedrooms and uh, other doors, you have to have more hearts with the folks that live there. So since we're only on day one and we haven't had a time, uh, we haven't had enough time to really strike up a friendship, you're not going to be able to get into some of the more secret places in people's homes. Hey, Pierre. Yeah, you're just the person I want to see. I do need seeds. First, I want to make a little bit more profit from those daffodils. And let's see how many parsnip seeds I can buy. Yeah, let's get a little bit more. Just a few more things. All right. Squeaked out everything we could. And we'll get the more expensive stuff later. So now we have a little bit of everything. And initially it's good because sometimes, uh, right at the uh, board there by Pierre's, is that people post for little requests and favors, and you can make good money finding stuff for people. 
So we'll see if anybody asks for cauliflowers or potatoes. You never know. All right, who do we have here? Usually Elliot hangs around the bridge around this time. Yep, there he is. Well, this fellow lives out on the beach. We'll meet more of him later. All right, so you've got your, whoop, hello, Penny. So you got your goals. So we got most of our seeds. We are running around. Hey, Alex. We are running around meeting people. Now, if you forget, like I just did, because I was sipping my coffee, not paying attention, we already talked to George, right? So if, yeah, there he is. So we've already talked to him, and you can see that by his little chat dialog box. They won't respond to you. So if you've already talked to them, they won't have anything to say for that day anymore. Now, let's see who's here. Oh, yes, who's this fella? He's running the saloon here. Hey, Gus. I don't know. I don't have any money to pay for anything, but if I did have money... Mm, that salad looks good. Maybe eventually I'll be able to buy some of these recipes. Mm, but for now, I'll skip it. All right, so who do we have left? Let's scroll through. Okay, we have a few people with question marks. Hopefully I can get to all of them today. I might have to get to some of them tomorrow. So we will see. Oh, hello. Hey, Sam. I like that when you just accidentally run into somebody. Get to meet them anyhow. But we don't really want to waste too much more time running around town meeting folks. Next task we have to do is look for a little bit more forageable stuff just in case we need a snack. Oh, oh darn. Anything over here? Oh, shucks. This little wooded area just outside of your farm is usually pretty good for forageable snacks if you need quick energy. But do we need to water anything? Nope. So let's plant some of those free seeds that we found. Oh, that might be a potato and a cauliflower there. You'll eventually get to learn the shapes of the seeds. Yep, that was a potato. Oh, yeah, those were cauliflowers. Here we go. Let's put down a bean pole right there. Yeah, that'll do. Let's backfill with the rest of those parsnips. All right, so we filled everything. We've got nine left. We gotta watch our energy. So on the day one of your journey, you're gonna have to learn to be a little bit mindful of your energy. So you're gonna actually have to count out. Count out your steps, count out your actions just to make sure and always keep an eye on that bar, especially when it's getting low like the way it is right now. Okay, we're still good. We can probably squeak out four more. Going slowly, making sure not to overhit. All right, there we go. So we've got as many seeds as we could. We only have $10 left. Or gold. I use a term interchangeably. It's currency in any case. Let's go poking around. Let's see if we can meet some more people, progress further in the game. We might find stuff around town that we can pick up and forage. Now, usually in the evenings, we've got a pretty good crowd at the saloon. Oh, there is that lady. She was one of the ones. Hey, Pam. <laughs> she likes the good stuff. Love it. Oh, who's this fella? That was another one of the ones in the question marks. Grumpy Shane. All right. All right. Oh, there we go. Running into... Hey, Clint. Okay. Town Blacksmith. Good to know. So yeah, you will be running into all of these people. But again, this is to be done after you've had time to plant and water your parsnips because you really want to get those done uh, earlier in the day when you still have energy. Then when you have a little bit of energy left, but you don't really need to, um, you know, do any cutting or chopping or watering, then it's okay to toot around town a little bit and look for folks. Now in the evening, Sebastian is usually hanging around over here. All the places that I could have chose. Yeah, I chose Stardew Valley. I guess he's a little bit bitter about living there. You never know. 
All right, let's see what's going on over here. All right, you will run into this place. And again, in my tutorials, I'm actually going to purposely try to not include as many sort of backstories and cutscenes as possible. I'm here to help you learn, but I want you to enjoy all of the extras, the cutscenes. Leak. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, I want you to enjoy all of the extras yourself. I know there's some channels that um, give you the whole story, but what's the fun of it? I mean, the reason why you bought the game was to enjoy it for yourself. So I will try to edit out uh, as much as applicable and let you enjoy all the scenes with the characters and all the drama that goes on in the town. And Oh, I, let me tell you, it gets interesting. So yeah, so now we have to be a little bit deliberate and a little bit careful here because you have to keep an eye on your energy because you don't want to exhaust yourself. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, so you got to watch where you're going so you don't accidentally get really too tired. But you just want to carve a little path for yourself so your exit points are easy to get in and out of. Because there will be times... What is going on with my computer? Bag. There will be times when you need to be rushing back home with only literally minutes to spare before you pass out from exhaustion. So you want to try to leave a decent path going back and forth. All right, Ooh, we have to be, ah, have to be careful. It's giving us a little warning jiggle. Ooh. Watch out there, Pinky. Nine energy points left. Seven. Ooh. Five. Ooh, do I want to? I'll, I'll take one more. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm not risking it. No more. No more moving around. And if when you get down to, you know, seven points or below, or when you're like three, throw the scythe in your hand because using the scythe doesn't use up energy. So even if that, you accidentally click that uh, action button, you're not going to get yourself in trouble. All right, folks, ending up the day, let's see how much gold we made by shipping some items. Not bad. Alrighty, see you tomorrow.